Hello, Fish World. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I breed forktail rainbows. Now that's a good looking fish. For our breeding setup, I like to use a five and a half gallon tank with a sponge filter, a heater, and some breeding mops. If you don't have some breeding mops, you can check out my video I'll link here to see how I make my own breeding mops. So I've already picked out my females, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how I pick out my males. So in choosing a male to breed, there's a couple different things that you can choose to look at. You can go ahead and look at their form of their body and see which form of body do you like. You can look at their fins and really closely examine which set of fins do you like the best and how does that impact. For me, I'm really interested in the color of these fish. And check out this. See how that front fork tail really has some nice orange color? For me, that's really what I'm focusing on with this breeding bear right now. And so I'm going to go with that fork tail that has more orange color to it. Here we have our male and two females in our breeding tank. And over the next three weeks, we'll leave these guys in here. And what you'll see is the male will, as he's in here, chase the females into the breeding mops and have them lay their eggs within those breeding mops. Forktail rainbows are a lot different than some of your other egg layers. They only lay a few eggs every day. And so when you look through your mop, you're not gonna find it loaded with lots of eggs, but you will find a few. And these eggs are pretty good size for the size of the fish. This is gonna be a lot bigger than some of your other uh, egg layer fish. And so, but you really have to look closely and I'm trying to point out a few here for you to be able to see going through your mop, here's some different eggs. So when you pull your mop after a couple weeks and you're gonna go through this, you may only find 15 or 20 eggs in your mop. Once you see that your breeding mop has some eggs in there, go ahead and pull those breeding pair of fish out of your breeding tank and go ahead and put the mops back in there. Leave them for three weeks and you'll start seeing some baby fry and then let those fry grow up in that tank for the first several weeks. The eggs take anywhere from 14 to 21 days to hatch, but because I had the fish in there for three weeks already, I can expect fry anytime up to 21 days from now. When the fry first hatch, I really like to keep them in that five and a half gallon tank. And I like my tank to have lots of algae because lots of algae means lots of life and lots of microorganisms. And the fry are gonna love those microorganisms. I also like to hatch my own baby brine shrimp because fry will do excellent with the baby brine shrimp. And this, these fry can have them right from day one. So I like to feed lots of babe brine shrimp. If you don't have a brine shrimp hatchery, I'm gonna leave some links down below on some of the ones that I think work really well. Here, these fry are about six to eight weeks old. And at this point, you can start feeding them a lot of other things, but I like to continue feeding the baby brine shrimp. You could also start feeding small crushed up flake food, as well as some other different small types of food. Now, forktail rainbows can only breed from six months to 18 months. Even though they'll live up to five years, they stop being able to breed at that point at that 18 month mark. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, can you do us a favor? Go ahead and hit that like button. Let everybody else know this is a good video for them to come check out. Have a good one.